Hey everyone, welcome back to Gastromania. Previously, we presented a recipe on Kamhyeong chicken or Kan Siang Chi and it was extremely well received. But do you know that this same sauce and method can be applied to seafood as well? Today, we are going to be presenting Kamhyeong Lala or clams. This method is an extremely convenient way to prepare savory clams that goes extremely well with rice. Without further ado, let's get right into this recipe. First, for the ingredients, we will need about 250 grams of lala or clams. Submerge them in water with 2 tablespoons of salt and soak them for at least 30 minutes. This will help to remove the sand in the clams. 10 pieces of dried red chilies, 5 cloves of garlic, 4 shallots. Optionally, you can also add 2 bird's eye chilies. You can omit them if you can't take spicy food. 1 stalk of lemongrass, bruised. 5 sprigs of curry leaves. Thirty grams of dried shrimps soaked for at least thirty minutes. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of spicy broad bean paste. This is a crucial ingredient and cannot be omitted. Half tablespoon of dark soy sauce. One tablespoon of meat curry powder. Chop up the dried shrimps roughly. Don't chop them too finely or the texture will not be right later on. Chop up the garlics. Chop up the shallots. And with that, let's get cooking. We will need to add about 4 to 5 slices of ginger into boiling water. This will help to remove the raw seafoody taste from the clams, leaving only the sweetness. Boil the lala until majority of them opens up. Strain the lala and set them aside for later use. Remove the ginger slices, they have served their purpose. Fry the dried shrimps until it gets fragrant. Once it gets fragrant, remove it and set it aside for later use. Don't wash the wok, use the remaining oil inside. Fry the garlic and shallots until fragrant in the same wok. Add the dried chilies, bird eye chilies, and lemongrass. Fry them all until they get fragrant. After about 2 minutes, add the spicy broad bean paste. Add some water when it gets a little too dry. Add the curry powder. Add the curry leaves. and add the prepared dried shrimps. Mm. 
Again, remember to add some water when it gets too dry. Fry the sauce for about 2 minutes. Add the prepared lala. Add the oyster sauce. Add 2 teaspoons of sugar to balance out the saltiness. Mix everything evenly. Make sure to taste the sauce and adjust the taste accordingly. Add the dark soy sauce. I will advise you to add about half first, then adjust the colour slowly. Once the desired colour is achieved, then it's ready to be served. Ah, seafoodie goodness in spicy savoury sauce. It smells extremely inviting. A perfect dish to go with rice. Guaranteed to get your guests going for second and third bowls of rice. Try it today. And we have come to the end of today's episode. If you enjoyed this recipe, do show us some support by hitting the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more recipes like this every week. Let us know if you have more recipes you would like to suggest us to make videos on. And I'll catch you in my next video.